All right, so here we are uh, recording a little demo of how we are going to approach our text art project here in computer art. And so looking at the assignment on eBackpack, uh, we can see a few examples of how this has been approached. And I think that, that you'll find some more if you go ahead and do a Google search of some you know, text art projects or uh, using typography uh, to make images. So essentially, you get to choose any image you would like to go ahead and turn into text. So the first example we had was of a butterfly. And then here's an example of Kanye West and it has some lyrics going through places like his hair and in his shirt. Um, and so you can use things like lyrics or quotes um, to go into the subject or literally you just use the word uh, that makes up you know the subject that you're doing so in this case Godzilla was repeated over and over to make up this image of Godzilla um, you know playing with things like the font sizes and types of fonts and uh, and shapes of different text boxes is what we are going to go over in this lesson so if we go over to Photoshop elements we can take a look at the example that I have going and so I've chosen to do an image of Michael Jordan here and uh, as you can see, I have started the project, got it moving a little bit. Um, but essentially, you want to start with your document being about, we said, uh, about the normal size, I think, for our projects, which would be if I change this to inches. Oh, right. So right here, uh, 10 by 8. And we're going to have a little bit higher resolution for this project so that you know, our text comes out a little bit better if we do go to print these. So uh, let's make that resolution of 150 um, and we will set that up as a new document, okay? So when you set that up, uh, go ahead and you can also bring in your image. So look for an image online and bring it in, copy and paste it into this document. Um, and what we can go ahead, oops, and what we can go ahead and do is start looking at how to manipulate text in Photoshop and make it do some of these different shapes and things. So uh, I'll zoom in right now on kind of the Jordan part of the image that I'm working on. And so you can see some of the font types of words that I've kind of mixed in here, a little variety, and I'll turn off the Jordan image below so you can see what you have. So first you start with, you know, your background. You can make it a color I did make it a color to kind of uh, to help my words stand out but um, you don't have to do that yet and your first layer should be your image um, and what I've done with that layer is I've locked it so I've just locked it by clicking the lock button right here um, so what I could do is go back and uh, double click this lock or click on the unlock button right here is where you need to click so I could lock that again um, the other thing I did do to it was I turned down the opacity. So um, turning down the opacity helps me see what I'm doing with the font here a little bit better. So I turned it down to, I think I had it on like 60, uh, but 55, 50, 60% is probably pretty good. And then, like I said, go ahead and lock that layer. That way you can just kind of leave it in the background and not worry about clicking it and moving it and that kind of thing. So, um, so. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you how to get into manipulating some text. So our text uh, tool is right here above our crop tool and between our magic wands. And, uh, and pretty much you would just kind of move your cursor over your screen, click and drag to create a text box. Um, and voila, you have space to put some text. So you right over here on the options bar, you have your choice of fonts gives you a little sample look at what that font will look like. Um, I'm using Rockwell. You can use a variety of fonts or you can use one font throughout your whole project. Uh, that is up to you. And then here we have our font sizes. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. For now, we'll start with 12. Um, you may find you need a variety of font sizes to really make this image come together. Um, so what I am going to do is go ahead and type something into this text box. Now move me away. So I'm going to type something in here to the extent of something that relates to basketball. So maybe I will put, um, you know, what would I put down? Let's put down, uh, you know, records. You know, for all the records 
the record books that Michael Jordan uh, made it into. And I'm going to adjust the size of this text box just so it fits around the font. Um, it doesn't have to fit perfectly, but I think that some of your text effects do come out better if you do have the, the uh, type box really tight around the text. So uh, we go up to the warp text option, which is right here, the one with the curve, and then you get some different styles to choose from for manipulating your text. And so I think I'm going to, uh, I was going to put this record's word in his leg. I think that was going to be part of his leg. So we are going to, I'm going to maybe give this a little bit of an arch right now. And so, um, and you can play around with choosing any one of these. This, I think, will work for kind of the bend of the way his front leg goes. So I can change the bend right here make it go back and forth. I just need a slight bend to this, not too much. Um, and then you can do things like distort or make it pinch on certain ends and play around with those sliders and see what you get. So this should do for me. So I'll go to my selection tool and instead of putting this out here, I will kind of bring it down to his leg. Give this a little rotation by hovering over one of the corners. Kind of move this in a place to take place of his shin right here. And so that should do that. And uh, you're basically going to continue this same sort of process until you uh, fill up your image enough where that if you turn off the image underneath, you do not need to see that image in order to know what we are looking at. So, um, you know, I have started a hoop over here as well. That is a part of the image. So if there's other things in your image that you want to include. You can include other things. It doesn't have to focus on just one subject. Maybe make more kind of a scene out of things with text. Um, but that is pretty much that. You can continue the process. You can see some of the different font colors I've decided to use to actually suggest different things like the jersey and the basketball. Um, and, and play around with using different shapes, different bends to get things to fit in. You can use just singular numbers or letters if you want to just use singular numbers or letters. Um, but other than that, uh, go ahead and start your own.